Welcome to downtown Seattle. I don't normally come into the city on a Saturday like this, but I'm here for the Emerald City Comic Con. I'm going to be speaking at a panel on a live podcast recording called the Science Bar Podcast. We're going to be talking about science and having drinks. My brother-in-law is going to pick me up because having a designated driver is cool. Also, downtown is just absolutely wild. Literal cannons. It's like disturbingly loud. Seattle monorail. Okay, I got my badge. Official. It says a speaker so apparently I can like cut through some lines. That's good. Okay, headed in. Had to make a quick stop at Ladra Coffee. So yeah, first impressions, this is a lot bigger than the biggest conference I've been to, which is like AAS, a few thousand. This has to be 10, 20,000 people? I don't know, I, I'm gonna go find out. I love how many kids there are here. I've seen people with their little kids, I've seen lots of teenagers, lots of families. So here's the plan. It is 1.30, I'm meeting up the rest of my panel at 5.30. That means I have four hours to take all this in. Apparently, half of it is in the convention center and half of it is over in the Hyatt. So if I want to go see the main stage and a bunch of the panels, uh, that's over like five blocks away. So I may only get to see half of this. This is, this is a lot bigger than I expected. So far, I'm very impressed. Yeah, I really like jelly beans. comic books. I am totally outmatched here. I don't know anything about comic books. I thought I understood the layout of the convention center from having been here at other conferences. I am utterly, utterly confused. I have no idea where I am right now, which is great, which is great. I love that they can reconfigure a space like this to make it totally unfamiliar. I'm just going to keep walking. Now this is going to crank all the way down. Glasses are worth the money. You gotta look through them every day. They might as well look cool. This appeals to me on so, so many levels. The technology to program these things, the Star Wars nerdery. I love it. I love this. First booth I've seen with free sunglasses, so. 100% win. Slightly nicer than the ones I made out of PVC pipe and spray paint when I was in high school. Okay, apparently they're made out of aircraft aluminum handles and polycarbonate for the blades, so they're probably pretty strong. Okay, a few more thoughts. I recognize more costumes than I thought I would, which is good. Lightsabers everywhere. Way nicer than the ones I had as a kid. Tons of kids. It's afternoon, so a lot of them are falling asleep, which is really cute. And I am blown away by how busy this place is. And they just keep flowing in. Alright, the one room I'm willing to stand in line for is the Star Wars room. It's pretty, it's pretty rad in here. Okay, that's really cool. Full-size speeder. I love it. us getting ready for our drunken um, science talk. I, I miss Dragon Ball the series. Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z, GT. These are all my people. Seahawks, Lego, Batman. I like it. Then we get Game of Thrones space! That's it. <laughs> I think that went well. 
full episode will come out in, in a month or two. They've got a backlog of episodes right now. That was a good time. Thanks for inviting me. Okay, that is my day at Emerald City Comic Con. That's a wrap. We finished our podcast, our live podcast, and our panel discussion. We were in sort of a back room in a back corner with a late time slot, and we still had, I don't know, like 50, 50 people in the room, so that's pretty good. My only regret is that I went up to get a, I went to go try to get a selfie with Shaniqua Martin-Green at her autograph booth, and I like, I hesitated, I wasn't sure if I was going to go do it, pay the money to go get a photo with her, and by the time I came back upstairs, she was gone. Should have been more decisive, acted quicker, gotten that picture. She's still awesome on Star Trek. I saw a lot of people with cameras, a lot of people taking videos, so I take it that a lot of people were doing vlogs, doing videos, but I didn't see anything on the schedule. The schedule is massive and immersive, and there are meetups, and but I didn't see anything on vlogging and YouTube. So next year, Emerald City Comic Con, what do you think? Should we do a, uh, a panel about vlogging?